Welcome back for my morning report analysis videos with me, Rich Perry, Mark, and Alistair and Antip Marks on Thursday, 6th of September. Cable's an interesting one. Um, we saw that move yesterday. Brexit is still a key factor for, uh, for sterling. Um, and increasingly, I think that's going to be the case in the coming weeks. Uh, in the run up to um, the, the sort of potential agreement or lack thereof, who's to say which way it's going to go. Um, but the signs are, or the um, suggestions are that they are moving in the right direction. Yesterday, the, there's a report in Bloomberg that uh, the US, uh, sorry, uh, that Germany and the UK were sort of um, willing to give each other a little bit more leeway, uh, a little bit less detail needed um, in order to reach an agreement. Um, subsequently, sort of uh, denied, but it's interesting that these reports do come out. And subsequently, we did see sterling spiking higher. We have seen it holding on to that move. Broadly speaking, um, since then, we can see that better on the hourly chart. That was that big spike higher. Retraced, but um, as I said, sort of broadly held on to it. Uh, initial sort of reaction lower. Um, Support, supported at 28.70, interestingly, uh, at old highs. Uh, and that's above 28 figure. And I've got 28 figure because that is this blue line here. Just marginally sort of moved below that 20, uh, uh, 27.83 yesterday. But broadly speaking, 28 figure supportive now as a floor. And that's interesting that it's sort of building a, a, a higher floor above that 26.60 level. So we saw the, um, this was the uh, Barnier, um, these are the Barnier comments uh, last week, and subsequently uh, we've seen the move. Uh, that move was retraced, but uh, these are the uh, comments yesterday on Brexit, and again retraced a bit, but holding broadly the support. So it's interesting. So I think this is going to be how sterling plays out in the coming weeks. But um, technically speaking, pretty neutral. Um, and holding above 28 figure, I think it's going to remain neutral. You've got the resistance at 30.45, uh, which was last week's spike high before moving lower. Initial resistance, uh, 29.80, yesterday's spike high. But uh, broadly speaking, technical uh, technical indicators fairly benign, nothing too significant. Um, holding above 40 was important yesterday on the RSI, and stochastics have started to sort of bottom out again. So fairly neutral. I wish you good luck in your trading. I'll speak to you later.